They were called the blue collar team, the working man's team, the Broad Street Bullies. But this gentleman, but this gentleman was different. He was the top hat, white tie and tails of the Philadelphia Flyers. The first 50 goal scorer, the first 100 point scorer, and in his nine years with the Flyers, two Stanley Cup championships and a million friends. We're so honored now to ask you to welcome as another new inductee into the Flyers Hall of Fame, Rick McLeish. It's indeed a thrill for me to be back on the Spectrum Ice to receive such an honor. It has made this evening more special as I am being inducted to the Flyers Hall of Fame with the likes of Fred Sherrill. And joining such people as Bobby Clark, Bill Barber, Bernie Perrant, Keith Allen, and Ed Snyder. Mr. Mr. Sherrill made our dreams come true, exhibiting superb coaching skills that led our team to two Stanley Cups, our ultimate dream. Okay. Those dreams have been lived many times through our friendships with the alumni, Snyder and Allen families, and of course you, the fabulous Flyers fans. The success of my career is greatly attributed to the love and support I've received from my wife, Carolyn, my two lovely daughters, Danielle and Brianna, and of course, my mother and father. Hockey is an intense game that physically cannot be played on ice for a lifetime, but this organization has made me feel that I'll be a flyer forever. I must thank the Flyers family, my teammates, and all of you for the great years. Because we grew up together in this building and on this ice. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, there has to be an official point at which this induction becomes complete. So we ask you to gear your attention to that upper corner and over here to my right. And as you extend a final salute to two great people, Rick McLeish and Fred Shearer, we ask you to watch the lowering of the Hall of Fame banner with our two new inductees so included.